One of the most common questions we get is how do we transport our wagon? It has big wheels, a solid aluminum frame. Now you can remove the railings, however, you can't just fold it up and put it in the trunk of your car. You could get ramps and drive it into the back of the truck or the back of your SUV, or you could lift it up with two people, but then the wagon takes up all the space in the back of your SUV or pickup truck. We found over time that the best way to transport your electric beach wagon is using this hitch carrier by Guide Gear that we purchased off of Amazon, and I'll share the link in the uh, description below. In this video, I'll go over some of the reasons why that we chose this uh, particular hitch carrier, and I'll also go over some of the advantages of transporting an e-beach wagon versus some of the other electric beach wagons on the market. One of the biggest advantages of e-beach wagon is that it is less than 30 inches wide. The widest point on our wagon is at the wheelbase at 27 inches. That means that it'll fit through a standard 30 inch door and it'll also fit on a standard 30 inch hitch carrier. We're the only electric beach wagon with 12 inch balloon wheels that is less than 30 inches wide. We're recommending this hitch carrier for a few reasons. First of all, it's 30 inches wide, so you have about an inch and a half of clearance on either side of the tire, so it's easy to get up there. Some of the other hitch carriers are only 28 inches wide, so not as much space and more difficult to get onto the ramp. Next is that it's got a really long foldable ramp, so you, you can fold the ramp all the way inside the hitch carrier. Uh, the one from Harbor Freight, uh, six straight, straight up at 90 degrees, uh, so it's a little bit more difficult to store. So when you put it inside of the carrier, much easier to store that way. Next is that it has a foldable, the whole carrier is foldable itself uh, so that it takes up less space when you're parking the vehicle. And finally, just the look and feel, you know, it's a aluminum construction, makes it a little bit easier to handle uh, and it's powder coated black. So overall, we like the look of this carrier the best. Getting the wagon on and off the ramp is really easy. Just make sure it's lined up with the ramp and then you hit the throttle. Now I like to kind of stop right there and then reposition myself onto this side just so it's a little bit easier to guide the wagon a little bit more comfortably up the ramp. Hit the throttle again, let the wagon power itself right up the ramp and there you go. Now you can do that with gear inside the wagon. I would just recommend if you do that, put your heavier gear up front instead of the back so the wagon doesn't want to tip over when it's going up the ramp. And then on your way down, I prefer to do that in neutral. It's a little bit more easy uh, to guide down the ramp. And then you can stop at one point if you want, uh, which will lock the brakes. And then hit the throttle again, it unlocks the brakes. And then there you go, wagon's unloaded. It's as simple as that. Here's the Guide Gear Hitch Carrier page on Amazon. And again, you can get that link from the description below. And as you can see here, the price of this hitch carrier is $349.99. One other major advantage to this hitch carrier is that you can carry any cargo that you wish when you're not carrying your e-beach wagon on it. Now let's take a look at our competition. First is the Sandhopper. Here at sandhopper.com, you'll see that the hitch kit, which is only available for long deck sizes, cost $425. I wasn't able to find any videos on how to use the Sandhopper hitch kit, however, I did find this photo that shows a crank at the top. I imagine you turn that crank to lift the wagon up, but how you actually get the wagon onto the hitch receiver of your vehicle is unknown. I imagine that you would need two people to maneuver that wagon onto the hitch receiver of your vehicle. Next is the electric Big Kahuna wagon. Here on the Kahuna Outfitters website, you'll see that their hitch carrier is $308. This video shows that you can load and unload the wagon with one person. However, this is the non-electric version. The electric wagon is 117 pounds, so you'll likely need two people to load and unload this thing. I did contact Kahuna Outfitters to confirm that this carrier works with their electric wagon, and it does, but there's an extra step. You just have to unscrew the wire connections from the controller and move the wires out of the way so they don't get pinched during transportation. So if you're looking for the simplest, most versatile and cost-effective way to transport an electric beach wagon, look no further than e-beach wagon with this hitch carrier by Guide Gear.